New Age and the New Order. I was first introduced to New Age Christianity in the beginning of the new millennium, which was no different than mainstream Christianity, a revelation I received in 2004. It had just been repackaged in order to sell it to the masses. What did the two have in common? Faith without works, spirit without the word, energy without the seed. One could simply claim to have the Holy Spirit or be spirit without any further action. Through the power of the mind and the gyrating of the body, one could activate spiritual energy, which is spiritual masturbation, Onanism, a revelation I received in the mid-70s. This deceptive spirit, called the energy of delusion, was carried over in those that thought they left the dogmas of religion behind. They may have left the building, but the energy that gave power to the old belief was simply transferred to the new belief, one that teaches that we are perfect with respect to our spiritual state. We just have to remember that, having been behind the veil of forgetfulness, as it was referred to. In truth, it is not about remembering that we are perfect, which we are not. It's about remembering, via the Christ power, what took place in our life that caused us to separate ourselves from the pure spiritual state we knew as little children, moving away from love and light, good, and into fear and darkness, evil, which they have no knowledge of because the New Age doctrine teaches that we are perfect just as we are, and that anything considered bad or negative, such as disease, is just an illusion, not real. Interesting fact. The fabric used to make a veil, and I've made quite a few, is called illusion. The New Age illusion doctrine protects the evil by denying it exists, the psychological veil obscuring the evil, an anagram for veil. Lifting of the veil, the definition of the word revelation, a disclosure of something hidden from the majority of mankind in an era dominated by falsehood. The energy of delusion that drives the spiritual masturbation taking place in the churches was carried over in those that thought they left the religious system behind into what the leaders of mainstream Christianity derogatorily called New Age. It took on a new form in this New Age Christianity, causing those that got caught up in it to commit spiritual fornication. Fornication is sexual intercourse. Spiritual intercourse is communication. When one buys into the pleasing to the ear New Age doctrine and sells it to others, one is committing spiritual fornication. It feels good, satisfying the ego, but it does not, through its application, result in the conception of holy seed in that spiritual womb called the heart. Those that have bought into one of the many forms of this New Age doctrine or belief will have to stop resisting the Holy Spirit, the energy that sows the seed or word of truth in the heart which is the only way to reach spiritual perfection, the only way to enter back into a pure spiritual state. They say they are spirit with their mouth, yet they resist the Holy Spirit of their heart, whose divine purpose is to bring the evil that exists in their heart, subconscious, up to their mind, into their awareness or consciousness. They say we are all one, unaware that the New Age doctrine they believe in and are advocating for is giving power to the new order, which teaches we are all equal. There is no hierarchy, no one is lesser or greater than anyone else, and everyone receives the same reward, whether they work for it or not, all of which is contrary to God's word. Ascension, the process of returning to a pure spiritual state, is a hierarchy. A group of persons or things organized in successive ranks or grades with each level subordinate to the one above. If someone puts more effort into the process, he is counted greater in spiritual measure or stature than the one that puts in less effort, his spiritual reward greater. The New Age doctrine, like Christianity, offers another way to climb up. No works necessary. Anyone can achieve an ascended or born-again state. You just have to say it with your mouth, remember it with your mind, or actualize it through the manipulation of the energy of your body. Mind and body. The heart doesn't even enter the equation, which makes this New Age doctrine contrary to the teachings of God's Word. 
The new order, or one world government, is the external vessel for the unholy spirit that is at work in that internal vessel called the mind. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. 1 John 4, 3. The New Age movement gave birth to the idea that there was no historical Jesus, which is the spirit of Antichrist. Notice it says it should come, indicating a thing, not a person, which brings us to those that do confess that Christ is come in the flesh, proclaiming that they themselves are Christ, which Jesus warns us about. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Matthew twenty four twenty three, Believe it not, because Christ which has become synonymous with Jesus, is not a person. Christ is a healing power. The spirit of Antichrist is playing right into the hands of the new order. Why? Because if the heart of man were to be healed through Christ, known also as the spirit of truth, man would be truly empowered instead of falsely empowered through the energy of delusion working through his mind, giving him an illusion of peace. The state of mind the people need to be in for the new world order to complete its objective, which is to control us, taking away our freedom. Capitalism is an economic and political system characterized by a free market for goods and services and private control of production and consumption. Socialism is a social system or theory in which the government owns and controls the means of production and distribution of goods. Liberals believe that socialism is the solution to corporate greed. They are all for the government stepping in and taking control of the greedy bastards of capitalism as they speak. They are willing to sacrifice all of their freedoms for the few examples of corporate or monetary greed. Why? Greed is a heart problem which cannot be controlled or legislated by government. Greed is a rapacious desire for more than one needs or deserves. The government feeds this greed when it hands out more and more money to those that do not work for it, empowering the spirit of laziness that has settled over the people. Spiritual greed is a lust for spiritual power, a power many claim to possess but have not worked for, deceiving themselves. If we want to be authentically spiritually empowered, we will have to wake ourselves up, out from under the spirit of slumber that has settled over us, and do the spiritual works of God's word. We will have to move beyond mind disciplines, beyond prayers, mantras, affirmations, intentions, visualizations, and the like, and into a heart discipline, activating the spiritual power of our heart through which we perform the spiritual works that make us spiritually free. Freedom within equals freedom without. We, through our limiting religious and spiritual beliefs, are unwittingly exchanging the freedom of capitalism for the bondage of socialism. Socialism grows directly out of capitalism. It is the first form of the new society. Communism is a further development or higher state of socialism. The color associated with socialism and communism is red. Esau is Edom, Genesis 36, 8, which means red. Esau forfeited his birthright for red pottage, which translates to dangerous arrogance, to claim that we are born again or perfect before we have done the spiritual works that bring us into this ascended state is pure arrogance. It is the great new age lie that has kept so many from overcoming the spiritual bondage of their heart. Bondage within equals bondage without.